Hello guys and welcome to Cobble Blue Gaming Channel. Today we're gonna check out Factory Runners. This game is about selling and running a factory, obviously. I think this game is made by a few people. I don't know uh, if it's made as a joke or what, but we're gonna check it. So let's dig in and see what this game has to offer. Unreal 4 game engine, check. Few letters from game title missing, check. We will come into existence from nothingness with nice tunes. Great beats. So first it does, game smashes you in the face with tutorials. Beginning. First of all, you need to go to your shop. You will find some products to sell for your first customers. Setting up. Once you're inside your shop, you can press I key to open your inventory and brace. Brace? Brace? Furniture. <laughs> customers, wait for your first customer to arrive. Selling. After accepting an order for a customer, you can see his order on the screen of the cashier. Restocking. If you run out of stock, you can go to Freddy's shop to get more products. Factory. When you have enough money, you can unlock the factory and start making your own products. Raw materials. Use the computer in the factory to order raw materials. Player status. The bars on the right corner of your screen refers to money, reputation, hunger, thirst, stamina and urine. So they try to implement some survival mechanism in this game. Hmm, at most curious. So we will see how we can abuse that system. <laughs> Next up, exporting company. You can sign a contract with exporting company to start exporting your products. Whoa, lots of exporting words there. Guess who will export much? Not us. And last but not least, roads. Use the road signs to get to your destination. Press M to open your map. So we have driving in this game. Oh, this gotta be good. So this is our humble chambers where we can do just one thing. Teleport to another day via this bed over here. Next up, we have bathroom. Oh, ultra clean, not me. And strobe light shower, where we can have photo induced seizures. For free. I wonder why everything looks so edgy. Everything is on the max setting, but I guess the game doesn't give a crap. This is our kitchen that we will never use. So let's go out. A map from GTA San Andreas era. We have marked locations here, Freddy's shop. Your shop, furniture shop, factory, farm, restaurant, truck shop, your house, and exporting company. Stairs. Hmm. Do we take fall damage in this game? Let's test it. Hello? Nope. Good. Hello, neighbor who is minding his own business. Slap? Slap? Oh my god. I don't know why they are implemented that in the game, but by god, we shall use it. Strolling down the street, we can see two generic guys fixing a car. One is chilling, other is working. Guess who is getting the slap? Just a couple of more and I will stop, I promise. You want to learn how to easy get demonetized? Well, come to this pile over here and dance to the god of store running. So they can give you amazing powers of anti-gravity so we can glide to the store. Next up, we have a burger joint. Oh, hello there. So this guy over here will water me and feed me for the rest of the excruciating time that I will spend playing this game. We have three things to choose upon. Burgers, french fries and juice. So one word, we shall continue to find what the game has in store for us. Oh, the irony. Looky, looky, what do we have here? The game wants us to play stuff from inventory? We shall place it. As I can see, here we have a lot of stuff that I can sell to the customers when they come after I open the store. But first, priorities. I don't know why they implemented this in the store running game, but when the man has to go, he has to go. Let's officially open our store. Okay, going in, this is our cash register, so we will see how that functions a little bit later. Here we have workers resting area, where we can eat. My character is the nastiest store running owner. Let's check out the rest of our store. So apparently we have two more levels up that we will never use and you will see why. 
later. The Sora here is our humble pickup truck that will be of grave importance for our store running business a tad bit later. Oh, our first customer. Welcome sir to the poop pants shop. How may I be of service? So this is how it goes here. Customers come into the shop. They ask for some random stuff. You can either accept or decline them. If you accept and you have the products in the store, you can sell them like this. By doing that, you earn cha-ching and increase store reputation that will have for consequence people or customers start swarming toward our store like the flies to my poop pants. On the other side, by declining them, you can lose reputation, but we don't care about that. So it's time to move all of our products inside of the shop. And done. It's finally time to restock. So let's see how the driving mechanic. Okay. Oh no, that's a bad start. We cannot exit the store. Oh, what happened? What happened? Apparently, we are stuck under all of those bubbles. Once you place them on the cart and remove the cart or whatever object, they glitch into place and they cannot be moved. Except manually place them in some other place. I wonder... Can we use that in some nefarious purpose? Huh. Nope, you're not getting in that way, dude. Sorry. Damn it! If you make them wait long enough and you're not too quick to sell them the crap they want, they just disappear and you lose reputation and don't make any moolah. So I already see that this game will be agony. Because our plan is to pile as much stuff as we can without any order or racks or system. We don't have money and time to invest in any of that normal stuff. So we will do that our way. So we tested to see if they take damage. Apparently the whole city is immortal. Oh, it's good to see that brakes work. So apparently exporting company and truck shops on right factory and freddy shop that we need to reach is on left <laughs> that's what you call driving there everything is indestructible in this game so we exist for one reason and one reason only to sell stuff to the end of the existence so this over here is magic freddy he can conjure stuff into existence if you give him a little bit of your blood money that you earn by doing exact same thing over and over and over again so here is where freddy's magic happens everything that you buy ends up here and you just load up the truck and you're good to go well i must admit the driving is not so bad as i expected to be let's unload our supply after a little bit of doing what we are supposed to do we earn a little bit of money so i'm liking in which direction everything is going store wise we pack everything nice and neat and i think we need to call it a day because we are getting hungry really hungry it's becoming really hard to move i will have that midnight snack thank you very much and who can forget this of course look how the power is restoring while i'm exercising all the demons out of me so yesterday's problem with food gave me an idea we need food so i did come here to get just a little bit of that sustenance that will keep us alive for the next few days i think this will suffice back at our poop pen shop we have unloading to do I was tired of running back and forth unloading, so I wanted to try something. What will happen if I do this? <laughs> I guess we glitched our truck. I invented new technology, hovering junk food pickup truck. And done. I think this will last us for quite some time now. We need to continue on and find what else game has to offer. But first... We need to release our trusty steed. So I wanted to see what I have to offer at the truck shop. 
Oh, look at that beauty. I could put so much stuff in. I wonder how much it costs. Such a diverse choice we have here. Okay, truck. 50,000. 50,000. Come on, game. Do they have something else for sale? I guess not. I forgot to pull the handbrake. 101 driving skills right there. Because I found out the truck is too expensive for me, I will continue and find the factory to see what options that I have right there. Oh, a big and not so shitty place. Nice. We have a truck loading ramp. Is that meaning that we will need a truck? Oh, no. So this is looking very nice. I like him what I'm seeing here. Is that a blue screen of death? Oh, we're gonna have a fun time using this computer. Insert raw material. Use machine. Would you like to buy the factory for $100,000? I think I found out the reason why I will waste my precious time on this earth. Just to buy this factory by expanding our business and selling more useless stuff in our store. Now we have a goal, we will need much more products. But first we need to go on the supply run. Magic Freddy, what do you have for me? I guess everything. As ridiculous as this looks. It works, it actually works. I can stack all the things that I buy on my pickup truck. I actually figured it out that I don't need to buy a truck. So money saved there in your face game. I actually like how the things float when you take stuff from the bottom. I'm starting to lose the grasp on the reality. So if I want to raise a hundred thousand dollars, I need to do this infernal circle over and over again. First, I drive to the shop buy stuff after that load them on the truck drive back to the shop unload sell all the stuff that i can eat piss and poop occasionally get stuck yep that can happen but like everything these days modern problems require modern solutions when you get stuck and there is no hope to get your truck moving in the pause screen you have reset all vehicles to town basically when you push it it teleports all your vehicles that you have to the shop and you end up with this with a ever floating heavy duty pickup truck I wanted to test the limits of how much I can load on my pickup truck and I think I overdone it a little bit. Not much, just a little bit. I don't know how I did arrive with all those boxes packed on my truck but, but all that packing made my stomach ache. Talking about that. Old saying, you don't shit where you eat, gets a whole another dimension over here. Can't you not see that I'm busy here? Darn it. I guess no rest for the wicked, ain't it? Supply for the shop looks pretty well now. But all those boxes jumbled up on each other is horror story on itself. I can tell you that. My original plan just to throw everything on one big pile failed because when the customers come into the store and request stuff, I have limited time to deliver. In this pile and this order like that, nope, no sir, you cannot find anything that you need at the time. So I needed to devise a plan. So I put the contents of the box on top of the box. And when the customers come, I see what is in the box. Simple but effective even with all those tutorials game doesn't tell you anything about the phone and that you have an option to write reminders to yourself to buy stuff later for shame game even with all those things that i bought i was failing to deliver so i needed to start thinking big really really big meanwhile i broke my pickup truck it couldn't move but i had another ace in my sleeve i teleported it to the store not like some games physics will stop me from my torturous destiny to cause pain to myself and waste my precious time with any reason whatsoever so if you think this is enough to sell and raise a hundred thousand dollars i will tell you something it's not 
Ah, nothing like a relaxing pee after a day of hard work. I think this will cover our needs for the next foreseeable future. So yeah, even despite all the stuff that I gathered, everything became exponentially difficult how my reputation rise. Customers started to request bigger quantities of the products and even 3 or 4 or 5 more articles. I was in the predicament here. With a pace like this, it will take me ages to reach 100k. I better roll my sleeves and dig into work. Word of advice. Don't do what I did. It took me such a long time to reach this number. I really, really, really hope so this customer will not disappear on me. Because I cannot even blink how tired I am. <laughs> I think this is it. Yay, we did it! Finally, thank you, thank you, almighty oh, god of sales. I don't know about what I'm talking right now, but I know one thing. I cannot wait to spend my blood money on that factory, for which I wasted not much, just a few days of my life. And by the way, I don't know what I can expect from that factory, but what the heck, you live only once. Make it count, guys. And now what? Am I stuck? Come on, don't do this to me now, car. But I will go on foot. Nothing can stop me now. I have a purpose now. There you are. Oh, you beautiful you. I'm gonna bite the shit out of you. There it is, that big moment. And uh, nothing happened, as expected. So I hope you had fun, I know I did not. <laughs> if it's not too hard for you, smash that like button real good. I will see you when we come back next time in this godforsaken reality.